about 7.35 and I am in my minivan waking up at a Florida rest area because last night I went to a rocket launch. My name is Becky. I live in this minivan and I have since Thanksgiving. It's early March. Oh, okay. That's fine. I just want to show you who's, who else is parked here. A Prius full of Reflectix, which I have my own. There's one. It fell. Guess I didn't make it that well. There's also a bunch of vans back there. A small Ford Transit and a large Sprinter van with roof racks and everything. And all of these people would have slept overnight with me at this rest area. Fun fact, Florida rest areas are legally only allowed to sleep for three hours. I think that's really just the state's excuse to kick people out who are, I guess, squatting. It's anti-homeless is what it is. To answer your question really quickly, I work a summer job in Chicago. I'm a tour guide on boats, the Architecture River Tours. <laughs> Let's see what the footage looked like from the rocket launch yesterday. I had quite an experience, like a seven hour long experience in Titusville, Florida. Roll the clips, Becky. I thought I was gonna watch the launch at Playa Linda Beach, but I looked online and it's closed for tonight. It's an 11.50 PM launch. So I'm at a place called Space View Park in Titusville. And get this, I found this old timer who had folding chairs set up and an audio speaker and print media to hand out with information about the launch. I found exactly who I wanted to find, somebody to host me for the space X launch. Look at this, pink clouds and the moon. Oh, beautiful. Oh boy, I, I gotta show you guys Ozzy's setup. T minus 30 minutes before launch. That's my little lecture. My name is Ozzy. I'm a local retiree around here, and I've uh, seen a number of these launches, and my thing is to share the knowledge. That white tower <coughs> is the Falcon 9 rocket with the Dragon cargo capsule on top. The mission tonight is to launch that capsule towards the International Space Station. Launch time is currently set for 11.50.31, because that is the time when the orbital track of the space station crosses the launch pad. At that time, they will launch the rocket into the same orbital path, and hopefully in about three days' time, that capsule will catch up with the space station and be docked to it. About two minutes, 30 seconds out, we're going to see the main engines cut off and the second stage start up. The second stage will then keep pushing that rocket out <coughs> while the first stage then returns to landing zone one, formerly Launch Complex 13, at Cape Canaveral Air Force Station. There is a real good chance that at eight and a half minutes after launch, we will see that first stage land at the Air Force Station. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Three, two, one, zero. And liftoff of the Falcon 9. 
Unbelievable. <laughs> yeah. It really does look like a jellyfish. Charlie. <laughs> what a night. That rocket launch was spectacular. And I even got somebody who wants to see my video of it and I gave him my card. So if you're watching this, hey dude, leave me a comment. <laughs> Hope you and your mom are well. <laughs> 